Hi everyone. It's amazing how I always have interesting stories. Now only me walk a call. Okay, yeah, so heartbreak. I've had a couple. Not one, not two, not ten, not twenty. <laughs> but I'd like to share this one that happened because I can laugh about it now, even though when it happened <laughs> I drowned myself in you know my sorrow listening to music and well anyway I'll run you through, you know, my playlist eventually. So I was dating this guy, great guy. I was in school at the time. He wasn't, he, he he was done with school, he was working. So I already thought, oh, you know, someone's working. This Someone that's working already has like his head on his shoulders. He's definitely ready to settle down. You know, I already had that kind of idea that, oh, so I'm dating this person that, you know, I will, I will be with eventually. You know, not those small, small boys in school. Those nonsense boys that all they want to do is nonsense. You know, so if, you know, I would brag about this to my friends <clears throat> when they're talking about those their Tringon boyfriends. I, I'll be like the one that'll be like, oh, you know, my my dear, you know, those kinds of advice. You know, hold, put your hands on your shoulder and be advising them, girl, girl, get yourself a man. <laughs> That's how, that was my line. You know, at some point they would not not necessarily want to talk to me about what they're going through because they already know what she's going to say. She's the only one with a man. We are the ones dating the boys. Until God said, I will show this girl Pepe because her own is just too much. <laughs> anyway, so it was, <clears throat> I was dating the man. Let's just call him the man, you know, for this story. So it was the man's birthday. It was like a few days to his birthday. I was in school and my school was not in Dego. So, you know, there's like a trip to, to him and, you know, back and everything. But every now and then I would tried to visit and he visited sometimes so it was yeah, it was a pretty pretty health um, and like healthy relationship so it was a few days to his birthday and i and i wanted to do something special you know so with a little tringon money i went to buy some raunchy outfit like you know this lingerie you know because i wanted to look good for my man stand out you know look sexy and all i wanted him to have a memorable birthday experience of sorts I spoke to a few friends who, you know, I because I, I'm a horrible dancer. I had to ask a friend of mine who, you know, a pretty good dancer to show me a few moves to complement the outfits, to complement the plan, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so, she, you know, she showed me some things. I was like, yeah, I, you got it, girl. You're going to show off and show out. Hmm. If only I knew. I think the title of this foolery should be if only I knew that I was going to go and make a big fool out of myself and embarrass my entire village and generation. I carried my two left legs and headed to Lagos. The eve of his birthday, packed my stuff. I skipped a class, so to show you how I carried this matter for head. What I did was, because I know he would be at work, I, you know, strategized, planned, okay, what day I would be, um, what time I'll be there. So he would, you know, I, I'll still have time to set up and, you know, stuff until he gets back. So, ah, yeah, I had a key. Why the hell did you, I, he gave me a key. So why the hell would you think that I wouldn't think that he wants to marry me? Any girl who gets a key assumes uh, she's already wife now. I don't understand. So I, I, I got there, let myself in, set up, did all, set up is, you know, arrange all my shit and everything that I got, you know, and then waited usually when i am around you know he's always back home like six ish so when he was getting closer you know i even cooked no oh, i cannot even cook but you know i had to i did everything i could to make sure that everything was kind of perfect so it was like a few minutes to six i was like oh yeah he's going to be here soon you know dished some dished some food everything i arranged everywhere you know and said i waited waited 7 p.m waited 8 p.m and you know it's supposed to be a surprise so i can't call him to say where are you you know waited 9 10 11 hey what's happening so okay yeah i i was kind of worried but i was thinking but i still can't call who knows i will call and blow my cover so still kind of waited and then his car pulls in i was like yes yes time for it. so i ran you know did everything i had to get ready went to hide door opens 
I wasn't going to do the surprise. I wanted him to find me, I mean, you know, find stuff that I've got first and then, you know, find me afterwards. That's how I was in my little corner hiding and I heard a woman's voice. Eh? Okay, maybe he has a cold now. Ah, maybe, maybe the man has a cold, you know, maybe it sounds a little feminine. You know, girl, don't, don't just relax more. So I was already getting my fist, you know, ready to go and fight because I don't understand what woman is there and he and the the eve of his birthday. So I was just in the corner and then she starts to talk and then he now starts to talk and then they are laughing and then I heard some, you know, when people are kissing them. What? Please share your experiences with us on the couch. <laughs>